Hi, Laura Claycomb. Good to see you all again. I thought I would give you one more little exercise for breathing um, and connecting to the breath. And what I talked about before was um, the connection to the pelvic floor and trying to keep the ribs out and talking about the appoggio in the first place, which um, of course is, is the bedrock of all singing. And so I thought I would give you a more advanced exercise. Before we had just done um, inhaling, holding and keeping inhaling, and then exhaling, still feeling like we're on the gesture of the inhalation, uh, which is the best way to work on appoggio and to, I think, describe the concept of appoggio. So this is a little bit more advanced and I would like you to hold your ribs, feel the sides of your ribs, be aware of the intake because those are the muscles that we want to keep engaged on the exhalation. We don't want to use different muscles and engage something different when we are uh, starting the um, exhalation. And we also want to stay involved, not pulling on any, or pushing or whatever, I like to think that, that for women that we feel like we're holding our pee, like just those muscles, like as if you're holding a tampon, I know it sounds very indelicate, or a man that you feel like you're either lifting your penis or that you are holding up or gathering your testicles. I know it sounds very crazy, but imagine that feeling right in the middle of your body, in the middle of your legs, that you're just barely gathering right there. And everything above here is open, but you keep that. I think it's a different juxtaposition of what we're used to doing. Most people are used to just letting go of everything when they breathe in. And I think that we need a little bit of that dichotomy of I'm keeping this tonic. That's the word that I normally use in lessons. I don't know if it makes sense to people, but um, some people it obviously does. Um, that you keep that engaged, not grabbed, not muscular, but just engaged, that you feel almost that you're bringing the, the sides of the, the very bottom of your butt together, where those bones are underneath there somewhere. So if you can feel like you're bringing those together muscularly, just a, just a little in, in between. I think that's why some people, uh, some teachers will teach you to pull in your butt cheeks, which I don't think is a great idea because that's too uh, extreme. But if you can keep something in the middle of your body a bit that it's holding you up, and that all of this is expanded, I think that we are doing a really good job so far. But you have to keep that while you're inhaling. So you're holding up, you're pulling up, you're gathering, and breathing in at the same time without letting that go don't let it go because what we do, what we want to do is we want to breathe in with that engaged and then use that as our um exhalation that that is our anchoring point i just say to my students anchor yourself get anchored and i think that that very much helps us not to have to do a new machination of something when we are trying to start the exhalation and start the emission of sound so that there's not a big difference going on between inhalation and exhalation. So, if you can keep that engaged during all of your exercises, your inhalation, and then start right on top of that with your exhalation, you're doing great. So what we do wanna do for this, this more um, advanced exercise is that we are going to work on the inhalation and keeping the gesture of the inhalation going at all times. So what does that mean? That means that we expand our ribs, we can bring the breastbone out, not necessarily, we don't want our collarbones up, but we just want this out. We want the solar plexus soft, which is hard and and I tend to pull in the ribs, which just makes you compress your lungs, which is not a good thing for singing. So relax all of this. Even if you can get, you know, do a massage in here so that you get the diaphragm kind of peeled away from the, the edge of your, of your ribs, if you can find them. Um, and so we breathe in, 
We connect underneath, connect with your pelvic floor, find a gathering of, of whatever, breathe in on top of that without letting it go. Breathe in, breathe side, breathe back, relax this solar plexus. And then we will start and on each of those in between of the uh, each little phrase ah, 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 what I want you to feel like is you are still keeping the inhalation you all of this is inhale it's all open ah, ah, ah. and it should almost feel like something is dropping every time because you're you're forcing your uh, you're pulling down on the diaphragm so that you're keeping it as flat as possible you're pulling it from the sides so that instead of letting it come up every time you let go and you let it go you'll be letting it go down so it's not going ah 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 it's going ah Ah, ah. So you want to feel that you're, you are expanding all of this space because when you expand your ribs, the vacuum pulls the, the air in. So you don't really have to take a breath, you just have to expand that and that will uh, pull the air in, in between the phrases. So, ah, ah. And make sure you're staying engaged underneath that as well. It's a lot of things together and a lot of things to concentrate on, but it's very important that you do things slowly and that you do things very uh, conscientiously. And these are stupid little exercises. It seems like a very simple exercise. Ha 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 but it is training your body how to do that because you can do it in a bad way and you can do it the right way. And the right way requires you to think 